If you are watching this video, then you are interested in learning about finite element analysis, FEA, and how to use it. Today, I will give you a crash course on how FEA works. First, let us define FEA. FEA is simply a method that allows us to approximate the overall result for an object by combining the effects from small volumes within the object. Engineers commonly use FEA to model complex structures and thermal systems. In this video, we will focus only on structural modeling. The finite element method, which is used by FEA, starts by dividing an object into a finite number of small volumes. Similar to the cylinder that we introduced in the basics of stress and strain video, these small volumes have a simple shape which allows us to easily calculate quantities like stress, strain, and displacement. We call the process of creating these small volumes meshing the object. Each of these small volumes is called an element. We call the points located at the corners of the elements nodes. Nodes are used to connect elements together. For example, Node number 1 connects the bottom left corner of element 2 with the top left corner of element number 1. And node number 2 connects the bottom right corner of element 2 with the top right corner of element number 1. Nodes are also used to apply loads to the structure. In this case, we have applied a downward force to the nodes on the right edge of the object. Finally, nodes are used to restrict movement of the structure. In this case, the nodes on the far face of the object are restricted from moving in any direction. With the left face fixed and the load applied to the right edge of the object, the highlighted element might deform like this. We can perform calculations, similar to those that we did for the cylinder in the basics of stress and strain video. We calculate the displacements and forces for every node. We then combine the forces and displacements for all the elements to approximate the overall result. We can also use the FEA process to analyze complex shapes, like this bridge. In 3D experience, the finite element process for the bridge consists of three major steps. Starting with the design model, we create a simulation model. This often entails simplifying the geometry. Then we select the element type, and create a finite element mesh. 3D experience has a large library of elements to choose from. Be sure to watch the video on element selection to learn more. Next, we select the scenario that we want to simulate. We define the applied loads and the restraints for the structure, as well as a physical scenario that we wish to evaluate. For a bridge, we may want to see how much vertical load it can support at its center, or we may want to verify that it can survive an earthquake. The physical scenario will dictate the mathematical technique that we use to solve the model. After we define the scenario, we can use our computer to solve a system of mathematical equations. This may take several hours or less than a minute, and will depend on the number of nodes in the finite element mesh, and the complexity of our physical scenario. Once the solver has finished, we can view our results and evaluate the performance of the structure.